Our region has been hit particularly hard on the jobs front, and it's no exaggeration to point out that this region is literally at the epicenter of the global economic meltdown. However, our current government, so outrageously out of touch with the reality of the Canadian economy, is running around bragging about its record on job creation. But when you take a closer look at their record on job creation over this period, where they are so eager to boast, you find a shameful legacy of inaction and ineptitude. The devil here really is in the details because when you look at the kind of jobs that Conservatives are so proud to take credit for, you'll find low-paying part-time jobs that provide no benefits and no security for Canada's working families. And what has this created? It has widened the gap between the poorest and the wealthiest among us. That's one of the clearest warning signs of a failing society. The job creation strategy of this government is to give tax cuts to the thriving sectors of the Canadian economy, like oil and gas, or the big banks. How many families in this community are forced to endure separation for weeks at a time just so one family member can commute thousands of kilometers away to work in the Alberta tar sands? Is this strategy working for Essex? We know that there are better ways to support job creation. New Democrats know that we can grow and diversify the Canadian economy in a way that will complement our existing manufacturing base right here in Windsor and Essex. That means high paying, sustainable, and socially responsible jobs that provide fair wages for working families and keeps them together.